Quincy Reed is working right now to create this clay sculpture you see behind me. He's working in some finer details and cleaning it up before they can move on to the next step in honoring Clara Looper's legacy. So I've been commissioned to do this for the Clara Looper sit-in plaza memorial off of Main and Robinson. It just means a lot, you know, being able to be here and work on something that's going to be here in Oklahoma City for a long time. Reed has worked on this statue for a while, but says it feels special to be a part of this during Black History Month. I just feel blessed at the opportunity to be here. Uh, I really didn't have to do a whole lot, just show up and be willing to, you know, accept the opportunities that have been presented to me. And a lot of those opportunities came from the work that Miss Looper and her students were, were able to do here in the, in the city and in the state. Reed is one of a select few that the Paseo Arts Association chooses to work out of the Skirvin. LaQuincy is our 10th artist to be in this location, and it's a great opportunity for Oklahoma artists to have a free space to work in a downtown location that has a lot of uh, traffic. The group says they see this as a way to make artists more visible, and Reed is a great person to do that. This gives the, the community an opportunity to see art happening. We are really fortunate to have LaQuincy be uh, in this space this year, and the timing couldn't have been perfect with all of the good things that he's been working on, and including this Clara Looper sculpture. There were a few more steps before they get to the bronze bust of the Oklahoma City legend, and this artist is enjoying the process. Right now, I'm sculpting the clay version and from here we'll make a mold, we'll ship that off to a foundry, and the foundry will cast that in bronze. Reed says they're over a year out before the monument opens up, so he's got some time to make those finishing touches.